Facebook's Oculus and Google's Cardboard are generating huge excitement about the entertainment and educational potential of virtual reality. Jeremy Balinson sees potential that's even more exciting and uncertain. His Stanford University lab is studying what effects virtual reality has in the real world for adults and children. So it turns out if you take an elementary school child and you bring him or her to the lab and you give them a virtual experience, a week later when you bring those same kids back, 50% of them will believe that that virtual experience happened in the physical world. The lab has partnered with Sesame Street to study the implications of that. So what we're doing with Sesame Street is, first of all, we're just exploring what type of content would be engaging for kids, uh, but more importantly we're trying to see well, what's going to happen to a five-year-old in general when she puts on the helmet. I mean, is this okay for the perceptual system of a five-year-old? Five-year-olds like Anna Perone, whose father allowed us to observe her playing with Grover. She's, uh, she's been in VR a few times before. Um, we actually did have it in our living room set up and she, uh, she got to try it out. And, uh, I got to do the construction. Oh yeah, you got to, you, you were the the one where you were a robot and the and the floor turned into a pit. Yes, um, and then the the um, the elephant game. You want to tell them about the elephant game? It's fun. You get to you're an ele you you're an elephant with a long black and white trunk, and you use your trunk to knock over things. How disruptive is it for people to be in a virtual world? One of the things we study in this lab is the psychological presence. So people are often stunned, they put on the head mount display and they look down and they see, say, a pit that we dropped there, and their hands start sweating and their heart starts beating. This is really intense for them. And Me included. <laughs> look down where your feet would be, they're not there now. Ah! Oh, I don't like it. You included, and I've seen many, many, uh, you know, pro, pro football players, pro basketball players, you know, shriek. Uh, this happens commonly. and the issue is, is that the brain treats it as real. We call this psychological presence. People instantly forget they're in a virtual space and they fully buy into this perceptual illusion. I'm really excited about it. I don't want to, I don't want to sound like I'm anti-technology or anything like that. I think, it's, I think it's fun. I've let my kid try it. So um, I am excited about it, but I, I do also think we need to be cautious and conscious of the, um, of the larger implications of, of the technologies. 